Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Remnants of Hope. I am your host, Emerson Reed. As teachers and students prepare to return to a classroom in person or online, the prevailing thought must be on education. Education generally tend to reflect the dominant culture of society and is often used as a political tool for special interest groups, lobbies, and politicians alike. But there's a difference between education and true education. True education is harmonious in its approach and is complete in its focus upon the total person. It focuses on the physical, the mental, and the spiritual aspects of humanity. It prepares the youth for joy of service in this world and for the higher joy of wider service in the world to come. The work of true education requires that institutions of learning train the youth to be thinkers and not mere reflectors of other men's thoughts. Institutions of learning should send forth men strong to think, act, who possess breadth of mind, clearness of thought, and the courage of their convictions. Individuals whose motives and desires are brought in conformity to the great principles of truth and right. The great objective of education, like redemption, is restoration of the image of God in man. This truth can only be understood within the context for which God created man and the nature of man himself. When God created Adam and Eve in his own image, likeness and character, they were made perfect, holy, symmetrical, and upright. When Adam and Eve chose to sin against God, the character of God was almost obliterated. Mankind was now subjected to bondage and death. Because God is, a, is the source of all true knowledge and real development, the first objective of education is to direct the mind towards a knowledge of God. While in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve commune with God, and they also learn from God's creative work as well as that of nature. Nature continues to point to the work of God, but it is imperfect and only partial. That is why God has chosen through his written word, the Holy Scripture, to reveal to us a deeper revelation of himself. Thus, the Holy Scriptures is the perfect standard of truth and that which is right. Therefore, the Bible should have the highest place in education. The highest level of education that we can attain is godliness and godlikeness. One of the roles of a Christian educator is not only to impart academic knowledge to the youth, but to help to shape and to mold the character in harmony with the divine principles so that instead of becoming slaves to circumstances, they can become masters of their own destinies in harmony with God's will. As a teacher, who operates with the divine purpose, he helps to shape and to guide the character of the youth to be conformed into the image and the likeness of Christ. As we contemplate upon the perfect beauty, love, and the sacrifice of Christ the Redeemer, we can be transformed by grace into his image and likeness. Let us pray. Loving Father, we pray that you will diffuse to us your Holy Spirit so that our minds can be imbued and be attracted with the beauty of holiness that is in your son, Christ Jesus. We thank you for being our primary teacher and our principal. Direct and guide our minds, and please bless all the teachers and the students. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, friends, in Christ, there is hope. There is hope.